If you're on the market for one of the recent M4 Apple computers or even one of the older models considering that they're on sale now, you might want to also save a lot of money on storage and in this video I'm going to tell you what I did to save up to $570 in storage space. Now, the solution that I have, I have been using for almost two years now and it has been working very, very reliably and with great performance. And I am talking specifically about the Acasis enclosure with a Western Digital SN770 NVMe drive. This solution has been working perfectly for me, like I said, for almost two years now. And this is a two terabyte solution. So combining this enclosure with this two terabyte solution, you would spend roughly $230 compared to $800 that you would need to spend for the same two terabytes of storage on, for example, a Mac mini. And most Apple computers right now, they charge you up to $800 to increase up to two terabytes of storage. So instead of spending $800, you can spend only $230, give or take, you know, considering taxes and whatnot, but you can use the rest of the money to increase other specs that may be more important to you. Now, the great thing about this solution is that it is very, very fast. Now, of course, it's not as fast as most internal storage on the Mac computers, but it is actually faster than, for example, the M2 models back when it came out. And I'm specifically speaking of the base M2 models of the Mac Mini and uh, MacBook Air and you know other devices back in the M2 days. Right now with the M4, and this is still a very, very fast solution. Again, not as fast as the internal storage, but you very likely will not need it to be that fast. Now, yes, there are other NVMe drives that may be a little bit faster, but I would not recommend them because when you are using any external enclosure for these devices, you will not get the top speed anyway. Now with this one, it is rated at 5,150 megabytes per second. But with this enclosure, I am getting around 2,600 megabytes per second, which let me tell you, it is more than enough. On my initial testing, I transferred about 170 gigabytes of storage of files, video files, and it transferred them in less than a minute. And I'm not even exaggerating. I mean, I was blown away by how fast this solution is. Of course, this is a Thunderbolt solution. So um, I keep switching because the preview is mirrored. This enclosure does include a cable. It's a very short Thunderbolt cable. And this is all you need. You know, it is very fast. I use it, I used to use it directly plugged into the Thunderbolt 4 ports in my Mac Studio. Now I'm using it in the Thunderbolt 4 dock and it works just as well. It, I see actually no decrease or no discernible decrease in the speed. Now, again, like I said, you very likely will not need more than 2600 megabytes per second of transfer, transfer speed and it is more than enough. I do a lot of 4K video editing, and like I said, I have been using this solution for more than a year, almost two years now, and it has not slowed down one bit. One of the concerns that you may have with this type of enclosure is that it does not have a fan. I'm trying to follow the preview here. It does not have a fan. There is a variant of this same enclosure that does have a fan, and there is also another variant of this same enclosure that supports two NVMe devices. So imagine you wanted to increase up to 16 terabytes by buying two 8 terabyte NVMe's, if you had the money for that. You, first of all, you cannot get 16 terabytes of storage on your Mac, so there's that. And second of all, even if you could, you likely will have to spend like $20,000. And I'm, I'm exaggerating, maybe, maybe, but what I'm trying to say is that whichever capacity you choose, you will definitely save a lot of money when upgrading your storage using this external solution. Now, how portable is this? It is plenty portable. The cable on the enclosure is a little bit short. I think it's around four to six inches long. It's enough, you know, for your enclosure to be right next to your computer. But uh, if you do want to carry it around, then you will be happy to know that this is a metal enclosure. So it is very, very durable. And heat 
has not been a concern for me. Well, it was a concern, but it was not really a problem for me. I was actually around eight months uh, out of the almost two year period that I've been using this. I was almost eight months without air conditioning and I live in a very warm and very humid climate. And the enclosure did get pretty hot, but it was never a problem in terms of performance or stability of uh, me using this device. And I gotta tell you, I have this plugged in 24 seven on my Mac Studio. I never turn off my Mac Studio unless there's a power outage. And you know, power outage, the computer has to turn off. But anyway, I digress. Simply saying, this device basically runs 24 seven with absolutely no issues. Now, I am almost out of storage. I'm almost going to have to buy an extra enclosure and an extra NVMe. I might get the four terabyte this time around. But yeah, if you wanna save a lot of money on your Mac computer, whether it's the newer M4 or previous models, or even if you have a Windows computer and you, that you want to upgrade the storage to, this is a very, very, very cost-effective solution and I really, really recommend it. So I hope that this video was helpful. I hope to see you in the next one. And until then, may God bless you all.